Well, go on, put your back into it. Hello. Wednesday, and I'm already tired, but that's okay. Wednesday means we have two days until the new Vex field gets to our school. Three, two, one, go! Da -da 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 -da, charge, here we go. What does that mean? Uh, for those of you who don't know, we are, I have a competitive robotics team at this school that competes uh, year long in not only robotics competitions but also uh, public speaking competitions, skill based competitions to where um, they're talking about their craft to other people, um, demonstrating it and hoping to win an award for it. But that's later in the year. We talk about now, VEX is a huge deal, very competitive, extremely problem solving driven and one of the things is is trying to be able to solve the problems in a quick amount of time in order to score points. You know what? Let's do something better. Let's take a look at this year's game. Introducing the world's greatest two minutes in robotics, the 2016-2017 game VEX Robotics Competition, Starstruck. Starstruck is played on a 12-foot by 12-foot field by two alliances, one red and one blue, each made up of two teams. The object of the game is to attain a higher score than the opposing alliance by scoring stars and cubes across the fence into the scoring zones. Stars are worth one point in the near zone and two points in the far zone. Cubes are worth two points in the near zone and four points in the far zone. Points are scored by getting stars and cubes to the other side of the fence. But you're going to have to be creative because the fence will keep robots on their own side of the field. Of course, there's more. At the end of the match, teams can get 4 points for low hanging a robot or 12 points for high hanging a robot. Alright, so every year this particular contest, the game elements change, the problems change. So, they have to come up with new ways, build new robots in order to solve those particular problems. And this year, uh, we've started a little bit late. It happens every year, because we start later. They get out later, but they start later. Now, what that means is that we just have to work that much harder to try to catch up. And we usually do. This week, though, represents a very challenging problem for not only me, but also to the students, because we have about three weeks to build a robot, test the robot, and make it happen. That's my cue. But the summer is gone. Summer is gone 
but the summer is gone Hey, hey, yeah. so what's the hardest thing about Vex? Um, building the robot. Building the robot? I think so, yeah. Building the robot's the hardest thing? Okay. Programming. Programming? All right. Now what's what's hard about building the robot? Because like there's a lot of problems that happen when you build it. Like something can not, not fit right or like something will just break all of a sudden and you gotta restart building it. And then it's just a whole long process. Being a newcomer to VEX, this being your first time ever doing this, what, what would you say is your biggest fear? Maybe just seeing the other um, robots that you're competing against. Okay. You're like, oh, that's going to beat me. Right, right. <laughs> hey. Hey, what do you think the, the hardest thing about VEX is? Uh, trying to get all the motors to work right. Okay, trying to get them all to work right? Yeah. What else? Uh, programming. Programming. Getting it all to work right okay. again. Okay. Nick, what are we doing, dude? We're testing this thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Choo choo operation. Go, go. Test one. No, test oh, one. Oh, 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 oh. Just slam it, dude. Yeah, slam it. Ah, But the summer is gone. Okay, right now we're actually getting ready for our first uh, Skills USA VEX Robotics meeting of the year with all of the parents and the students. Watch this. Everybody say hi! Hi! The summer is it's about to be fun. Okay, meeting done, time to go.